Hey, hey, get your nontra here from my online biz and I'm coming your way with yet another instructional video on how you can add um, or use YouTube cards to increase engagement on your videos on YouTube. YouTube just came up with this and I actually found this out from Miss Eileen from basicblogtips.com so I owe that to her uh, but I also wanted to create a video just to show you how to use YouTube cards. All right, and so to use YouTube cards if you have a YouTube channel already, and I really encourage you to um, create one if you don't, because people love video, you know. Sometimes I would rather watch, you know, a three minute video than read a blog post that takes me, you know, I don't know, 10 minutes, you know. Um, everybody learns differently, and there's some people that like visual content, and so if you have things that you can show people via video, video is definitely a great way to go. All right, so to create um, cards for your YouTube videos, and you can create this for existing videos as well as new videos. All right, you want to go into your creator studio. So I always go into my creator studio so that I can access my videos. And at this point in time, these are my um, the videos I have on YouTube. It shows you the first four. And um, you can view all also. And I choose a video to edit. So you want to do that. I'm going to edit this video. All right. I already kind of added Twitter cards to this one, but um, I said Twitter cards, YouTube cards. They're also Twitter cards, but that's not what we're talking about today. All right, and I go to cards. <laughs> Once you do that, we don't want to watch the video. I'm going to um, delete these so that we can do them all over again, okay? All right. All right, so once you um, have your video, you want to choose a time point. Now, uh, there's no hard and fast rule, but if somebody has been watching for your video for a minute or two, you know, let's say it's a five minute video, in this case, mine is a six minute video. If they've been watching it for a minute or two, it's very likely that they're interested in what you have to say, and they may be interested in more of your content. So a good place to put this may be, you know, maybe a minute after the person has been watching your video. All right, so let's go to somewhere like a minute and 30 seconds, okay? There we go. And so at this point, we're gonna add a video card. And so you go, click, go ahead and click on a card, and maybe you want this person to go to your website. You know, there's a blog post you wrote on this that is more in depth, and you want to direct them to that. You can do that, you can put a blog post in there. Or maybe you can lead them to a landing page because if the person has been, um, you know, has engaged with your content for a little bit, they may be interested in your other content. And so you can get them, you know, to click through to your email list so you can collect your email and begin to build a relationship with them. Email lists are not simply for selling. Um, it's great for selling, but primarily it's for building relationship with these people so that you can, you know, you don't buy from people you don't trust, right? You have to build a relationship first. And that's what email lists let you do. All right, so we're going to create an, uh, you know, a card for our website. Make sure that you have verified your website with YouTube before you do this. Unless you do this, YouTube does not allow you to attach, just attach any website to your YouTube um, video, okay? All right, so I'm just going to put in um, a link to a landing page I had already copied, all right? And then once that I do that, um, this is gonna go a little bit and then comes up it takes okay okay it says that URL is temporarily unavailable all right we'll, let's put just our website okay let's put our website and then let's create let's just say um, not visit website but something like um, get more actionable blog tips all right I already had typed that and you I have a you know it pulls a picture from my website and then create card okay you can also change this because it also tells you if you have too much text um, in there so let's say um, helping you build a better online presence it may still be too long let's see there you go. And so, you know, it'll tell you if it's too long and then you can shorten it. It had pulled the information right from my blog landing page and so you can trim it, okay? All right, and then you create card, all right? And so, as this person is watching and they get to this one minute and 27 second time point, this Twitter card will come up and the person has a choice of 
you know, clicking on it and landing on your website or landing on, you know, some landing page where you can collect emails, okay? You can add a card for, you know, another video. And so if the person has watched up to, let's say, you know, somewhere here towards the end of the video and there is a video in the series, I mean, let's say this, it's a video series and, um, there's part one, two, three, and you want to tell them that, okay, now that you've finished watching part one, you can watch part two. You can put that in there, create, choose the video you want them to go to next and create a card. It's as simple as that. And you'll see that it says, you know, it tells them what the video is, the next video is. And that's how simple it is to add video cards to your YouTube videos. How cool is that? I hope this was very helpful to you and you will put it to use. If this was helpful, comment in the, in the boxes below and let me know how Twitter cards are helping you grow your YouTube channel, okay? All right, see you next time.